Hi, it's Jason from Feature Radiators. Today we're going to look at how to get an electrical element into a column or cast iron radiator. So, you've ordered your radiator from us at Feature Radiators, you've had your radiator delivered, you've got all the accompanying pieces and you've got your instructions. So from the instructions, we're going to start at step two. So here's the element. As you can see, around the rods of the element we've got some masking tape and that's basically holding a rubber silicone spacer in place and that'll just keep it secure when you try to install it. Okay, the element will go in there. Now, in between each section of the radiator you've got a piece called a nipple. Uh, as you can see, inside the nipple there are some knobbly pieces. As you're feeding the rod of the element through there, you might hear the clanking of metal or metal. But don't worry about that. The element will go in place and it won't cause any damage at all. Now I'm going to install the element into the radiator. So I'm going to feed it through there. As you can hear as we're going through, there's a bit of sound of metal clanking on metal. So we're just going to carefully negotiate it around the nipples. You might need to move the element back and forth a little bit. Once it's all the way in, you just need to tighten the element control box until it's tight and upright. We're now going to go to step three of the instructions and follow those through. All we need to do now is to connect it to the electrical supply via a three pin plug or a fuse spur. And that's your job done. 